fail harness. Yep. Alright. I'm glad you got up in there. Here's the video you guys have been all waiting for. What's well, actually, it's something I've been waiting for since the day I bought my Denali. It's time to put some sound system in the Denali. Well, just two eights, but that should be good enough for me because, well, I'm not in high school anymore, so I don't need to be listening to um, gangsta rap music. Just kidding, I, that's not really my preference of music anyway. But, you know, it's always nice to have some subs. Cam with the Ram. Again, once again, another making a, making another guest appearance. So this came out of uh, one of my friends. He's got a Chevy Duramax, which explains why there's a Chevy emblem. But it'll work. It'll it'll work. It's just maybe I'll I don't know sand it down, sand it down and then put a Denali emblem or something. But it's got a little bedliner spray on it, so it's nice and it sounds nice. And he also gave me an amp as well, or I, I bought it from him, so it's gonna go in the Denali. We have to take the seat out of the Denali. No, I already did, did like most of the work. I unbolted everything. So we just gotta lift it up and take it out. I think I literally, I pretty much did everything. So let me ask you this, does the seat cover the box? Cause you can keep the, the seat in the box. The seat in here, can't you? The seat? Yeah, can you keep the seat in here? Yeah, but I gotta take it out to mount the amp behind it and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not on anything. Oh, dude, there's another bolt on here. There is? Yeah. There's one there. And yeah, there's just one more bolt. Alright. A lot of room back here without the seat. <laughs> Alright. See now we got some stuff. Come around. Come around. How is this caught right here? <laughs> like it don't make sense how it was caught. If it's gonna get caught or something, it will. So next, we got to remove my factory radio. Perfect. All right, there's four bolts. One, two, three, four. Same on the other side. And voila, easy. All right guys, so as it turns out, we didn't have to remove the factory head unit because all we have to do is catch the signal from the factory subwoofer, I guess the harness, which is right under the cup holder. So, but if you needed to know how to remove the head unit, that's how you do it, right Cam? Yeah. We, we did it just for educational purposes. Like we knew exactly what we were doing. Yes, we did. We're professionals. Yep. Yeah, we just gotta put the head unit back on. What a shame. That's all right. It's a learning experience for you because we all didn't know how to do it. It's a learning experience for you, sir. For me. You insist that we take the head unit apart. That's how you're supposed to do it, man. All right, so change of plans. I'm not really sure what's going on. <laughs> I'm not a radio guy at all. I, I am clueless when it comes to battery or I am clueless when it comes to radio, so not gonna mess with it just because I don't want it to go wrong. Uh, I'm gonna have to personally do some research and figure out what I need to do. All right, so several days later, we watched a couple videos and I think we have an idea of what we need to do. So first, I would say if you have the stock, uh, if you still have the stock head unit and you have the Bose speaker system, this is exactly what you need to do to make some subs work in your truck. Now, I went out and bought this Hack LP7 2R, and it's gonna come with 
a little wiring harness like this and all you have to do is remove the cup holder in the center and disconnect let's see i'm going to show you guys how it was you are going to disconnect this right here that would be i believe that's your factory bow sub and then you're going to want to disconnect this right here and uh with this the two lighter color there's going to be two greens and two blues the lighter color is going to be your negative and the darker color is going to be your positive and then the wiring harness from the pack system basically we're going to tap this into like your positive and then like this into your negative and then yellow goes into yellow there and then black is your ground so theoretically that is how you wire this up and then this gets plugged into this and then it'll all get connected to the amp yes 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 well we are we have tapped into the harness to get our rca is working and everything and he's finishing up this <laughs> yeah good thing i disconnected the batteries or that would have been funny laugh at other people's pain that's right that's awful so this is our mess so far all right so i got everything what we need to do is splice into the yellow wire this is other harness here and then plug this up yeah we should be able to test everything out because we got the power wire run we need to finish the ground wire and then uh that's pretty much it everything's there but you got the dash out and this little box here is what we're tapping into so that plugs in and gives us our left and right that plugs into the amp so we're getting there all right fam we got everything wired up just to test it out and see if it works so here goes nothing well gotta get my keys which is in my pocket yeah that might help that will help a lot all right and we're gonna play a song it's called can we kiss forever <laughs> just make sure you don't text that to somebody yeah a day later <laughs> Fast-forwarded it. Oh. So I've got it turned down. Real quick, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Come here. <laughs> Can y'all hear that inside? Day technically three of putting a system in the truck. We got everything wired. Now we're just cleaning up the wires because what we did first was we just kind of tested everything out to make sure it works. And now that everything works, we just got to reroute the wires, hide all the wires, and then... The fun stuff. Yeah, this is the fun stuff, but we know for a fact that it works. It works really well. Mm -hmm. So me having the factory bows, I had to figure out which one of these wires were like the constant power to power the amp. And what else do we need? Um, that was it, right? Yeah, we ran all the all the wires there, split the 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 sub, I guess, signal connections to the factory amp and then just ran into that box and ran everything under all the panels so we could run into the amp. That's right. So. And then while the back panel is completely removed, killing two birds with one stone, my rear sliding window has been broken for about 
I want to say about six months. I've been too lazy to fix it. But now that I had the back seat removed, I was like, you know what? I can access it. Let me just go ahead and fix it while we're at it. There you go. Copyright music. All right. We got everything wired up. Let's check it out. So we still may have minor tuning to do with the amp, so I'm not going to put the seat back on here just yet, but everything is good to go. She works just as good and let's go ahead and let's go ahead and hear it inside the cab. Still don't know that it's got good bass in it. Honestly, it's not too bad outside and it doesn't rattle. That's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to be too loud, too obnoxious. I've already explained to you guys why I have the Chevy emblem on the sub box. That's because I bought it from a friend of mine who works with me. He has an LML Duramax just like mine, except it's a Chevy. So he put that Chevy emblem on there. And that box was custom made specifically with this cab in mind. It's custom ported box. It's tuned just for the speakers. One of the guys that works with us, Bud, He's like a speak, he's like an audio genius and he custom made that box for the LML cab and to me it just it sounds perfect. Eight hit pretty hard. Right? Two eights hit pretty hard. I mean, might as well just get two fifteens now. Just go skyrocket. I don't know. I like the way that sounds. That's <laughs> just, that's like to me, like perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. That's all you need. Exactly. That's plenty enough bass. Oh yeah, I'm not in high school anymore. Uh, so, so you're not know. overpowering your stock yeah. speakers or anything. It just it sounds really good. Mm -hmm. It really rattles inside the truck. Yeah, we'll get I mean, some dyno mat and cover everything down. Oh yeah, yeah. But get you some new stock speakers now, some door speakers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Be good. But I was telling people that that box was built specifically for that cab. Oh yeah. And the two speakers and it's tuned exactly how it should be with everything in mind because one yeah. of the guys, Bud, he built it. So, well, I was about to say, it, it looks good other than the Chevy emblem. I yeah. <laughs> so we'll, we'll have to do something, maybe cover that up. Nah, yeah. I mean, it'll just be one of those things. Right. It's a little Easter egg. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Easter egg. We're having too much fun with, like, speaker stuff. I mean, Cam got new speakers, new door speakers for his Ram. Yeah. And uh, I'm guessing we're going to be doing some subs for your Ram pretty soon. Maybe. You're I mean, not like, right now, I don't have a whole lot of seat, like, room under my seat. So as long as I keep that, I'll be all right. Because you're not going to be able to resist it now. I can. You can? All right, I we'll can. see about that. But now that I've had, you know, the subs and the Denali, my LOI, the door speakers are crap, and <laughs> I want some uh, subs in that thing now. So after I do some, uh, I guess, general maintenance stuff and then some suspension stuff and work on the aesthetics a little bit more, then I'll work at doing some door speakers and some subs. I'm about to say the next thing on this truck should be a radio and speakers. This so truck that stock radio is awful. This truck, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do the the 10 inch Stinger. I don't. I haven't seen it. I, I was supposed to look it up the other day, but I never did. But get that and some good door speakers, and and you'll be set. Because I, right. I didn't think that speakers would have livened up my truck as much mm -hmm. as it did. But it just it just sounds so clean. The vocals are clearer. The bass is a little bit better. I mean, I think I spent a hundred dollars on all the speakers. Right. It was awesome. But yeah, that is it for this video. Uh, the next video we have coming is Cam. I know he just got new headlights, yeah. but he's getting new, new headlights. New, new headlights. And we're going to put those two headlights to the test. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to spoil it because you guys know that I have the Alpha X headlights. He has the Morimoto's. Yeah, and his lights are a lot brighter. So what we're going to do is we're going to test and see if the Alpha Rex look better, if they're brighter, which ones should you buy for your Ram? Yeah, so he's getting Alpha X headlights. Yeah. And so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to go get some dronies of Cam's truck at night to test out the output and his alpha x headlights should be here tomorrow wow. so we're going to put those headlights on kind of give you guys a comparison and go get some dronies with the headlight and then do like an actual actual 
scientific very scientific yeah very scientific <laughs> very official very youtube-esque yeah test outputs between yeah, the, the alpha x and morimoto's the output um, which ones have better just like top and bottom running lights yep. the sequentials all that good stuff exactly so, so you'll know which one's better stay tuned make sure to go give cam a sub and not a sub but you know subscribe like, subscribe there you go get his video to 30 likes get this video to 25 likes but I'll see you guys next time. Peace.